Doppler 10 weather forecast. Uh, good afternoon. Well, good evening as we had a warm afternoon. Those temperatures soared today. We made it into the 80s. Yeah, 82 in Corpus Christi to 84 Alice Beeville 80 Rockport hitting 78 degrees today. So another warm South Texas December day and tomorrow still going to be on the warmer side as well. But there is a change on the way. Here are the weather headlines. First of all, we've got the widespread fog tonight. It's going to be dense in spots in the morning. Also changeable temperatures keep the wardrobe open. You can choose from that over the next several days from shorts to sweatpants. Long sleeve shirts are going to be needed again by Friday as we have two cold fronts coming in. Potential showers. We might get some rain. Wouldn't that be nice to get some rain around here? Uh, get the dust off of everything and it looks like we'll see some of those showers Friday night and then possibly a couple Sunday afternoon. Outside right now, we do have moisture in the air. The dew points have been climbing. The moisture has been increasing and temperatures are mild. We're in the 60s and 70s. South southeast winds are going to die down tonight and with the clear skies, fog is going to develop tonight. Low temperatures staying in the 50s to low 60s tonight. Not as cool. Some upper 40s near George West and Beeville, but 55 for the low in Corpus Christi. And here's that fog I was talking about. You can see this is 3:30 in the morning. Notice the visibility really starts to drop off where you see these pockets of red. That's dense fog and we are going to see the visibility less than a half of a mile in many areas down to zero in some spots by early morning tomorrow. This is seven in the morning and usually about nine o'clock is when it starts to uh, burn off and we'll start to see better conditions around the area. So remember driving in that dense fog. You may need to leave early tomorrow morning and slow down. Pay attention. Use those low beams or fog lights and remember to leave plenty of distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Follow the lines on the road if needed. All right, so we have the fog in the morning, then the afternoon, not as warm as today, but still above average. We're going to reach into those 70s, but what you'll notice is that wind's going to shift to the north early in the day. And with that wind shifting around, we are going to see that cooler air eventually making it here. This is the wind forecast tomorrow morning. Notice the south wind, hardly any breeze blowing, so that fog will be around. But here comes that change, that northeast wind by the afternoon picks up and it becomes pretty windy right along the coast, especially 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow afternoon and evening, gusting up to 35. The winds will die down Friday a bit, still a on the breezy side and cool. See that wind direction from the northeast Friday. Where's the front? Hey, we didn't play that one today, Paul. We'll have to do that maybe tomorrow. Where's the front? Well, it's to the north of us. It's just north of San Antonio, and that cooler air is on its way, but not as cold as the north. They have wind chills in the northern plains at 35 below zero. It's bad up there. But we also have the snow coming down as well, and all that's going to be spreading east over the next couple of days. There's that Arctic air we've been tracking the past few days, and it's getting closer. However, it's not going to be a direct hit for us. It's not going to be as cold as the last front, and it won't last long. We only got really one chilly day, and that's Friday. So here's the front. As it comes in, it's dry. There's the wind shift for tomorrow, but watch this. Moisture returns from the south and with that there's a wave of lower pressure at the surface that's going to lift north. We might get a little bit of rain Friday and early Saturday. And then here comes our front. We warm up Saturday. The next front comes in Sunday, perhaps a couple of showers. It doesn't look like a lot of rain, but we may get a little bit. But Friday night, I do think here's Friday. Notice the moisture increasing from the south. Very hit and miss, but some spots will get rain Friday night and into early Saturday. And then Saturday look, looking warmer with the south winds. Potential rainfall through Saturday morning up to a quarter inch with that Friday night activity. Higher totals at the coast, much lower inland. And then as we add Sunday in there, we may get a little bit more. Possibly a few spots may pick up up to about a half an inch of rain. Here's your seven day forecast then. Lots of ups and downs like usual. We're looking at the 70s tomorrow, fog tomorrow morning, cooler Friday, a few showers Friday night, fog Saturday morning, warming this weekend. Paul was asking about the beach weather this weekend. Sunday looks like the warmer day, Paul. You'll Sharon, have some early sunshine. You know, Sharon, I feel like I should have a buzzer here. Where's the front? Where's <laughs> yeah, the bonus maybe front? Maybe we can work that in. <laughs> weather magic. All right, Sharon, thank you.